It says that he took the cup and he blessed it and gave thanks. And he says, this is the cup of the covenant, which is what's so powerful about this moment because this is a covenant, right? So the very covenant that God made with Abraham, Jesus was saying, this is the cup that's being carried out right here, right now. He blessed it, gave thanks, and he says, this is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. You guys can live a blessed life, a great life, because Jesus Christ loves you and because his blood has been shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. I'm so excited to share this wonderful day with you. I'm so glad the Lord has blessed me with such an amazing, loving, God-fearing man to be my husband. I know his plans for us are great and nothing about the future scares me as long as I have you. Our day is here. It's finally here. Can you believe it? The day that we've been waiting for, for so long, and it's going to be amazing. It's the day that I get to marry the love of my life. I want to share with you something that's very special and personal to me. When I was 13, I began writing in a journal letters to my future husband. I wrote down things that were on my heart, good and bad, and when I went through any relationship trouble. I never knew who I was writing to, but I knew the Lord had someone special for me. I could never have imagined how in love I would be with you. I want you to know that this letter will be the very last one I write because now I have found my husband. You're the one whom my soul loves and I can't wait to grow old with you. See you at the altar, dear, and I'm going to kiss you real good. Love, Meredith. I still cannot believe how lucky and blessed that I am to have you in my life. Words cannot describe how happy I am right now writing this letter to you. But my happiness is so much more knowing that we will be spending our lives together. This is something I've been waiting for since I talked to you and to continuing to talk to me way back when. I, know, I knew that you were the one for me. I just had to convince you of the same thing. And now we are here, hours from being married and starting our own little family. I am just so excited, happy, and ready to begin our journey. I love you with all my heart, and I'm going to try with everything in my power to make you the happiest woman each and every day that God gives us together. You are my everything, and I hope to be the best husband, friend, father that I can be. Just know that you mean the world to me, and I love you with every ounce of my body. Now, it's our wedding day, and no matter what, it's going to be amazing. Nothing can bother us today. This is the greatest day of our lives, so I need you to do some things for me. One. Be impressed that I was able to write this with Tucker squeaking nonstop for the last 45 minutes. Two, do not make fun of me if I cry because heads up, I'm going to be pouring. Three, don't stress. We are getting married and nothing else in the world matters. Four, just wanted to say that I love you again. And five, you are beautiful, but please try not to make me look so bad up there. And this is it. Are you ready? I am beyond ready. Let's do this. passage of scripture starts off with with this calling that love must be sincere and as you have joined your lives together in this holy union I pray that your love would be sincere and the only way that your love is going to be sincere truly sincere is through Christ Jesus and so I charge you that your marriage would be a marriage that would be lived out to the very fullest that you would put on display for the entire world what Christ Jesus is like and what the kingdom of heaven is supposed to like, be like by, by the witness of your marriage.
I knew the Lord was going to do this. Somehow I knew He was going to do this. Um, our three little flower girls prayed <clears throat> earlier. It was reported to me that they prayed, hands together, that God would keep the rain. And, uh, and He listened. <laughs> Today, a, a super special day for this couple, but it's also Ralph Hitt's birthday. Ralph Hitt was my father, pardon me, Meredith's granddad. He would be 90 years old today, and uh, he would be so pleased uh, that they chose this day. There are many things that Sandy and I are proud of about Meredith, but I think the thing that I'm most proud of is her unwavering commitment to God, which started long ago as a, as a young girl and lasted all the way, has lasted all the way to this point. I want to read a scripture that's very uh, meaningful to me and has everything to do with my remarks comes from Proverbs chapter 3. The scripture says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. And I'm so glad that one of those paths led to Barron County. <laughs> um, I know Meredith didn't initially know that that path to Barron County would end up right here, but the Lord knew in advance and um, uh, so, so here we are in, in this place at this time. I can't think of a, um, uh, someone that I'd rather have standing here than Mason, uh, a godly man from a godly family and uh, a wonderful companion to my daughter. And so I'm, I'm very pleased and proud um, to have him as a son-in-law. Meredith, she was two days old. She was a beautiful blue baby. I was so thrilled to have another cousin live near me. My mom saw Mason's eyes light up the first time she saw, he saw Meredith right before he, she left for LDAC. I'm so happy to say that his eyes still light up for her. after me. I, Mason, take you, Meredith, to I, be my wife. I, Mason, take you, Meredith, to be my wife. 
to have and to hold from this day forward to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer for poorer for richer or poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part these things I promise you. These things I promise you. I will love you as Christ loves his church. I will love you as Christ loves his church. I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will be faithful to you and honest to you. I will respect and trust, help and care for you. Oh. <laughs> I will respect and trust. I will respect and trust. Help and care for you. Help and care for you. <laughs> I will share my life with you. I will share my life with you. And I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Meredith, do your best to repeat after okay. me. <laughs> I, Meredith, take you, Mason, to be my husband. I, Meredith, take you, Mason, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. These things I promise you. These things I promise you. I will submit to your leadership. I will submit to your leadership. I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect and trust. I will respect and trust. Help and care for you. Help and care for you. I will share my life with you. I will share my life with you. And I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. So help me God. So help me God. Mason, do you take Meredith to be your wedded wife, to live together according to God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live I do Meredith do you take Mason to be your wedded husband to live together according to God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony will you love him comfort him honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep yourself only for him so long as you both shall live I do This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. With this ring, I pledge my life and all I have to you. With this ring, I pledge my life and all I have to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Likewise, Meredith, will you take the ring and place it on Mason's finger? And repeat these words after me. This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. With this ring, I pledge my life and all I have to you. With this ring, I pledge my life and all I have to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mason and Meredith, today you have made a lifelong commitment to each other. You've shared your vows in the presence of God and of these witnesses. You have publicly demonstrated your love by exchanging rings. Believing that it is your desire to have a godly home built on the Lordship of Jesus Christ, it is my joy as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to now pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. May the Lord bless you always in all your ways. Mason, you may kiss your bride.
And now it is my great honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mason and Meredith Myatt. A toast to Meredith and Mason. This is something I saw today and I thought was very appropriate. May your marriage be modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. Wow.